Hi, baby. What you doing? Oh, I was trying to get her being cute. Hi. She is so adorable. Oh, that's my Shasta. Here's my little baby. Here's my blessing. Here's a little blessing. Yep. Okay. We're coming out here in my driveway to show you. Okay, my sister, my sister, my mother and I went to Waterfront Mission the other day and look what I found. Look at that price. It's upside down. $19.99. Cast iron Kohler. I've been wanting a white sink. Man, that sucker is so heavy. That's a long story about the sink. They scratched my car putting it in. But, oh, well. <laughs> you know, it's not that bad. I'm living with it. But I can't lift it. But it is so nice. It doesn't have any rust on it whatsoever. I looked them up. And these suckers, uh, at Home Depot, they're two forty-seven dollars for this. And, uh... I went to Wayfair and Hayneedle and Overstock, and they were like over $570. So, ah, $19, $20. So, whenever I do uh, videotape, this, this is definitely going in my kitchen when we start doing that video. But that's going to be a little while. But <laughs> anyway, say hi, Shasta. And she's sweet. That's my baby girl there. Shasta. Shasta. Look over here. Hi, baby. Mama loves you. She's so sweet. Oh, hey, you guys. I'm using my new selfie stick. Look. Hi, I can go out watch. This is like pulled out two feet. Well, three feet. It's a selfie stick tripod. Anyway, I've got it pulled out only two feet. It goes like one, two, three more feet out. It's incredible. But, uh... Anyway, I had a brainstorm today, and uh, this is what I'm going to do over here. Let me turn the light. Can you see my mess? Get a good look at that. But not the laundry. I still got to do that. But anyhow, those shelves, the silver ones, are staying. I love it because it has all of my dishes and appliances. Rotisserie chicken, cook pot, uh, slow cookers, all that kind of stuff. Anyhow, what I was thinking is I love the trash there. Whoa, let me go down. <laughs> I love the trash right there because I walk out of the kitchen and just throw it in there and it's hidden from the kitchen. And that tote contains my dog food. So what I was thinking is building, and I need a uh, folding table because I always go dump them on the couch in there and I hate that. Especially with dogs because then you get dog hair on them. So, because I've got uh, sheets and stuff over my until they pass away, my dogs are a long story. Make a long story short, Buster, my only bulldog I wanted, ended ended up getting a dog pregnant, a stray, and we kept her, and I was going to give the babies away. Listen to this story. I guess I'll go ahead and tell you. Anyway, I used to be a uh, construction manager, okay? For years, I did that. And um, anyway, I... I thought, okay, they had six babies, three girls, three boys, and uh, she was a little dog, and the doctor told us all that she won't be able to get pregnant by him. Shut Don't let him tell you that. She was huge. But anyhow, she ended up giving us six, three boys and three girls, which were my heart. I've, I've got three left besides our little one, Shasta, y'all saw a while ago. But anyhow, to make a long story short, I knew a superintendent at, oh, way up in Alabama close to Mobile, and he goes, yeah, I want one. I'm going to take him hunting. Anyway, it was about time for me to give them away, and I went up and talked to him, and I said, uh, and I said, they're almost ready, got about another week, and he goes, I said, I am so glad I found somebody that's going to love them and not beat them or anything, because that's what was scaring me, is somebody would, you know, be mean, because people are mean to pets, some of them, and, uh, he goes, oh, don't get me wrong, uh, I'll beat the F and you know what, S-H-I-T out of him, if he gets in my way, I'm taking that little B hunting and he ain't going to get me killed. And I was just shocked. So, to make a long story short, once again, I kept them all. Yep. My fault. He got somebody pregnant. I told him. I used to tell him all the time. See, you're going to, you you did this. Now you got to live with it. And so, but oh, he was a sweetheart. But that's another story. He got ran over because I had to put an electric fence up because the mutt mother, Lily, which just passed away, my heart too, 
was a digger when we first got her, and she would dig out, and those puppies would follow her down to the river because we're only about a mile or so for the river. They come back soaking, muddy, and all. Anyway, he never would go. He would always come tell on them when they left. And I was in the process of putting up an electric fence. But anyhow, we came home and oh, broke my heart. I would never get over that. Anyway, where did I come? Anyway, okay, that's what the deal is. I've got three left plus Shasta. And Shasta was a little miracle baby. I'll tell you about that later. But I love her so much. But she doesn't shed as bad as the others. But they have such a shedding problem. I have to. I have to keep sheets and stuff over my recliner. So if I ever do have anybody come out, and people don't really come out here because it's kind of far out. But, uh, and we're pretty much like, I don't know, hermits. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, Jeremy works from home. So we really don't ever leave the house unless it's to buy groceries or to go to a home, fun a, uh, like a reunion or something or see my mom or something. Anyhow, see, I get so sidetracked. Isn't that funny? Okay, so y'all know the story of uh, my dogs. So we keep their food there in the tote, okay? But what I want to do, I need a folding table, okay? So I thought I would build a table. Boom. I'm going to take the brooms and my sweepers and everything, put them there where I hung those cans, okay? And then above my uh, table I'm building... I'm going to have cans. I'll build new ones because that's not enough. That doesn't hold enough. And I'm having to stack and they'll fall out and stuff. But go all the way up. And then that way it'll hide the uh, trash can. So, and then it would be covering up this hole to slide them under. Oh, there they go barking. Somebody must have drove by. I've got like two neighbors down here. That's it. But, uh, I have, oh my gosh, my mind, I tell you. Anyway, I had this. I I had this uh, in my bedroom for the longest, keeping it for a uh, block uh, to keep the dogs out, like a gate. And I, anyway, I don't need it anymore because I had a problem with one dog going into my fish room and peeing on the dang floor. I don't know what her problem was, but she, she's, they're all, gosh, 11 years old and I'm tearing the carpet out. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but I don't know why she did it, but. It was just that fish room, so I don't know why she was why she did that. But that's Lucy, bless her heart. But uh, didn't make me mad. They're old and poor little thing. I don't know what was what she was thinking. But anyhow, this will be the perfect tabletop. It's about an inch and a half too wide and too long. So tomorrow I'm just going to cut it back, and uh, I think I'm going to curve the. At the points on the corners because I guarantee you walking out of the kitchen my side of my thigh or hip or whatever is going to hit that every time so I definitely got to round it off but I think that that is a perfect perfect tabletop for my laundry folding table okay I grabbed a pen and paper what I'm thinking is um, okay let's see let's draw the trash can Let's see, it's not kind of like that. I don't know. Uh, this is the trash. Okay. So, and then this will be the dog food. Okay, I want dog food over here. And that's going to be like covered up, so that's going to have to be, I guess, like that. I don't know if I'm getting this. Let's see it down. Okay. Let's see. This will be dog food. I got a tote, and I want it to slide up in there, and uh, it's going to be a cabinet, because I've got an extra cabinet from the one I took down, so there's the little hinges, so <coughs> this, I got some uh, one by twos out there, that's what I'm going to use, or sixes, excuse me, Let's see if I can, I've got, I know I've got two of them, they're treated, and then this will be for cans, let's see here. And then I kind of want to keep this bigger, and then I'm going to put some those little yellow Tupperware things I was telling you about. And I'll keep flour in them, sugar, and maybe cornmeal or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But There's the trash can, and this will be covered. Now, I'm wondering if I should put a cabinet here and just leave this open because this is my kitchen here. And I come in here and I always toss the trash in right there. My dishwasher's here and my sink's over here. 
Hmm. Right, we're fixing to build this. I think I want this closed off to hide the trash and we'll just come around. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. Before I can start on this laundry room, I gotta do the dishes. Young do them with me. Well, while I was doing the dishes, the laundry got done. So now I have to hang these before they get wrinkled. So I don't iron. Told you that. Do not iron. So I gotta do these, hang them up, then I gotta put them up. Probably because I'm not gonna have a place to put all this other crap when I start messing up. So I have to fold all these up or hang them. Put those up, finish the dishes, then I can get started in here. <laughs> then I'll probably be too tired. <laughs> but at least it'll all be done, and if I feel good tomorrow morning, boom. Got it, girls, boys, and boys and girls. These are mostly jeans. They're kind of damp still, but they'll be alright. I'll dry. Anyway, we finish this real quick. And do the dishes again. Finish them. Okay, guys. I just had an idea. See, I'm using that. I don't know why I stopped here. But see, I do need a folding table bath. And I haven't decorated yet either. So, anyhow. I was thinking, if I'm building a folding table. What if I. Am I backed up? I guess I'm as far as I can get out. What if I do something with the trash and the dog food and just put them here? Because I can move this stuff to the back wall where my brooms and stuff are going to go. My cans, of course, are going to go behind above here where these are now. But I build it to the table there and then my laundry baskets can slide up under them. Which will get them out of the floor because I cannot stand this. Oh my gosh. And then whenever they are empty... I just saw, see, this is what I'm talking about, the puppies. There's the, some evidence of the puppies. Oh, boy. It was a lot of fun, let me tell you. Anyway, back to where I was at. Those would fit up under here. I'm trying to find my tape measure. I had it yesterday, but now it's missing. But I've definitely got to get a folding table and not today I've got I gotta get this whole place cleaned up it's driving me crazy let me go back to the drawing table once again here I go moving everything out of here into my kitchen I never did go back to the drawing board because well I actually went back but I couldn't come up with anything but what I have come up with is the cans are definitely going here and this stuff's going here so I've got to take those down I gotta take those down, move those over there. I'm done with that shelf. That is out of here. So let's get started, I guess, cleaning all this crap out of here again. Oh. Anyway, I didn't hang any of my stuff up yet, uh, my decorations, because since I'm doing all this, I might change my mind. But I liked it the way I had it before, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. What I did here is I put one nail through here and I think one right here straight through a stud because uh, the studs are like 24 apart and they wouldn't fit the holes that were on this. I don't even know what this thing was. Okay, I'm gonna go try to find that drill bit. I'm gonna find the drill bit. I just took that uh, can shelf down and I started thinking, wow, this would be perfect for the tabletop. Then I wouldn't have to cut anything out because it fits in there perfectly. So, the only thing is, this back part has got little tiny finishing nails, so I know I can get that off. But I'd like to use that, possibly turned upright, because that would keep clothes from folding, well, uh, from coming off of it. And just remove these, these shelves, these two shelves, all I'd have to remove. And then I'd have a place to dump my clothes and I wouldn't have, have to worry about them falling off. So that's sort of looking better than that other one now to me. I don't know. Because I'm not going to need that now since I'm making another can rack. I'm going to back up here. I'm just barely hanging on now. And I'm 
working, so. Whoa, I broke my glass. I started to throw this old table away many times. Yay, got it. <laughs> Without breaking it, so that's good. I started to throw this thing away many times. Boy, has it come in handy lately. Let's see if I can do anything with this. Those are finishing nails too. You just probably hammer those out. that board for something else, see? do this in film so right now I'm gonna hammer all those uh, screws out so nails you hammered all these out oh gosh <laughs> some of them should just go ahead and pull out yep some of them not so easy but all right I'm gonna add some wood glue first I've been sitting here debating on whether or not I want this big of a lip for my washer and my uh, laundry folding table because if I <laughs> if I keep this underneath this big part if I keep the most of it underneath I can make a uh, like not t-shape but anyway you know what I mean just braces into a two by four on the back wall so I won't have any boards or legs in my way so I'm debating that right now. I don't know what I want. As usual, you guys know, I have a hard time making up my mind. I bought this the other day when I bought that wood putty. Thank goodness. Because that other stuff's old and it, I've got a lot in it, but it's dried up. So this ought to work fine. I just, I know I'm going to be rough. On, I'm rough on my stuff. So I'm going to have to have the wood glue. And either way, this is getting painted, so I don't care what side goes where or what. So let's just get this on here. Oops.
just have to put something over the top here. for these already so mm. that gave me another idea <laughs> see works great and now I have this whole wall and I'm ready to start on my folding table <sighs> and I'm wore out again and look at this mess Oh my gosh. Okay, well I tried to get more done on one video and this is kind of just like prep work for what I plan on doing. And also this is it for this video. I can't make them too long. I think this is probably gonna be 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to cut it down. I told y'all it's gonna take me a year to get all this done. It's gonna take me longer than that. But I'm wore out today so I can't do no more. But thank you for watching and I'll see you. I think this is number five. I'll see you on number six. Probably a couple weeks. Thanks guys. Bye. God bless you.